Hey everybody, Professor Davis here from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. And today I'm just going to talk to you for a couple of minutes about Newman projections. Uh, now, Newman projections can be used to draw pretty simple molecules like this ethane molecule and also rather complex molecules, but I'm going to stick to ethane because it's the best, ex simplest example. So we're used to seeing molecules like this ethane drawn in this kind of a perspective where we're looking down right along the edge of a carbon-carbon bond. So when we do this to draw, say, Kekulé or Lewis or even perspective structures, there's a little bit of information that's lost. It's not easy for us to tell exactly what state this carbon-carbon bond is in as far as rotation. Right? Is it like this? Is it like this? Is it like that? And sometimes that really makes a huge difference. The conformation of this bond can determine the reactivity, the physical properties of the molecule, and so we want a way of very precisely conveying the rotational state of the bond. Enter a guy named Melvin Spencer Newman. Now Newman's idea was, don't look at the molecule in this orientation, down the edge of the bond. Instead, sight down the carbon-carbon bond this way. In other words, rotate the molecule by 90 degrees. And when you do this, take a look at what you get. You get what we typically refer to as a Newman projection. And it very clearly shows us the dihedral angles between atoms on the front and back. So for example, these two atoms here have a dihedral angle of 60 degrees. Now in this particular conformation, the substituents of this ethane molecule, which are hydrogens, have as much space to themselves as possible. So this is a very stable conformation. But if I rotate my carbon-carbon bond by about 60 degrees, I get something called an eclipsed conformation. Where now, if I tilt it a little bit to the side, you can see that these substituents are as close together in space as they can be. So if we're going to model this conformational change as a two-state process, we would say this is the less stable, whereas our uh, staggered conformation is the more stable of the two. And this is the one I would use to approximate the reactivity and the physical properties of ethane. Now in truth, there's a continuum of potential angles here. So to call it a two-state equilibrium between two different conformers really isn't true, but it's a good way for us to begin understanding how we can use a Newman projection to predict the conformational state and therefore the properties of the molecule. That's all for now. Uh, next time we'll do a Newman with something a little bit more complex than this and we'll introduce a whole other level of complexity. Till then, build yourself an ethane molecule and create yourself some different conformers using the Newman projection. I'll see you for it next time.